Today we will learn about the different methods of viewing parts of a solid. There are many solids around us, such as boxes, ice cream cones, ball, pyramids, etc. These solids are made from different parts according to the size and shape. For example, a cuboid can be made with many rectangular pages. Today, we will discuss the methods with which we can see different parts of a solid. A fun way to see parts of an object is to cut it. Let us understand this with an activity. Take a cylindrical shaped vegetable such as a cucumber or gourd. Use a knife to cut it. For this activity, you can also make a model of clay shaped like a cylinder. Take one of these objects and cut it vertically. You can carefully slice it thin. Here, each piece is circular. We can say that a cylinder is made up of many circular faces that are placed on the same axis. We call the circular panel a cross section of the cylinder. If the section is not vertical, then we will get different size panel. You can cut different sizes and draw rough shapes of transverse cuts. Another method of looking at different parts of a solid is to see a 2D shadow of a 3D shaped solid. Let us also understand this with a fun activity. For this, you will need a source of light, a screen and some solid shapes such as cube, cuboid, sphere, cylinder, pyramid. Now, you can take a cube and place it in front of the screen. Focus light on it right from the front. You will get its shadow on the screen. Can you tell if the shadow is 2D or 3D? Think, think. Since the shadow occupies only one plane, we can say that the shadow has two dimensions. That is, it is a 2D shape. When we look carefully, we see that it is a square shadow. Similarly, if we place the screen down and place the cube as shown above the screen and even after light is focused from top, we will get a square shadow. Now, look at the figure shown. Here, from the front of a cone, light is focused. Can you tell what is the shape of the shadow formed in such a situation? Think, think. Exactly. This will create a triangular shaped shadow on the screen. In the same way, if the light is focused on the cone from the side direction, then again a triangular shaped shadow will be formed on the screen. Similarly, if a light is placed just above the cone and the screen is placed below, a circular shaped shadow is obtained on the screen. In the same way, you practice the shadow of different objects and draw rough shapes in your notebook. The third method of looking at different parts of solids is to look at them from certain angle. For that, we view the solid from the front or from the side, that is, laterally or from the top. Then we draw the shape of visible scenes. Like, look at this figure. When viewed from the front, we get the front view in this way. Similarly, when we look sideways, we get side view in this way and when viewed from above, we get the top view in this way. We can also draw all three views from the shapes made of cubes. For this solid, the front view, side view and top view can be drawn in this way. So today we have learned about different methods of viewing parts of a solid. In the next video, we will see some examples related to these.